Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to add sections to your table view controller with Swift and Xcode. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's open up Xcode and create a new Xcode project, and this will just be a single view application. Click next, and our product name, you can of course call this whatever you want. I'm just going to call mine table sections. Our language will be set to Swift and our devices will be set to iPhone, although this is a universal concept. Click next and create. Now let's make this a bit bigger and let's head right into our viewcontroller.swift. Now inside of our viewcontroller.swift we have the class which includes the subclass which is just the name of your view controller. I'm going to change the subclass of this to be table view controller and then I'm going to change the superclass of this to be our UI table view controller. And now let's head back over to our main.storyboard, click on our view controller right down here, and we want to actually just delete this view controller and click and drag a navigation controller onto our scene. The navigation controller itself is not needed, but it does keep this bar up here, and this is perfect for sections so that you can actually see the sections better versus having the sections stay up here at the top. Now alongside this navigation controller I created a table view controller. So now we need to edit this table view controller by using the subclass that we created in our viewcontroller.swift. So let's head back over to our main.storyboard, click on our root view controller that it created, go over here to your identity inspector, click on the class, and we want to change the class to table view controller. And now anything that we put inside of our viewcontroller.swift will edit this view controller that we have right here. So let's head back over to our viewcontroller.swift, and first thing we need to do is create a structure. Now the structure is going to hold the section name and the objects that are inside of that section. So we're just going to call this structure our objects. And the objects that are inside of this, I'm going to just type in var section name colon, and this will be a string value. And then I'm going to create another variable, and this will be section objects colon, and this will actually be an array of strings. Then after that, you add an exclamation point. Now right underneath the structure that we created, we need to assign this to an object. So we need to say var, and we'll call this our objects array, will be equal to a string of these objects, or a string of this structure that we just have right here. And it's also expecting parentheses right after that, so just add those. Now in our view did load, we need to say, objects array will be equal to open square bracket close square bracket and inside of this we need to say objects open parentheses and then it should automatically fill in a section name and section objects so let's go ahead tab all that in in our section name we're going to call this section one and our section objects we made this an array of strings so inside of here we need to put some strings and these will be basically our rows inside of our section. So we're just going to add some text in here just so that we can exa see exactly what's going on. And then right after this parentheses right here, we need to add a comma. And then just take this whole line of code right here, except for the square brackets, and just copy and paste that a few times so that we have a few sections. And we can change the section name to section two, section three, and section four. And we also need to delete this comma that's right at the end here. Now next thing we need to do is actually create the cells themselves. So we need to say table view, and right down here you will see cell for row at index path. So just you can double click on that or tab all that in. And it's waiting for a return value of a UI table view cell. So we need to create a cell, so say var cell equals table view dot dq reusable cell with identifier open quotation mark close quotation mark and close those parentheses and inside of these quotation mark we want to basically just have a common name for the cells that are inside of our table view so let's head back over to our main dot storyboard we can click on our cell right here and right over here in our attributes inspector you will see a reuse identifier now this a reuse identifier will be the exact same as the reu the identifier that we use used in our cell for row and index path. So this is going to be using the same cell over and over again and put all of these objects that are inside of our objects array right into it. Now this variable that we are returning right now is any object, but we want to tell it that it is a UI table view cell. So right after this we need to say as a UI table view cell exclamation point. 
It also expects an exclamation point right after the as. Now let's go down here and let's return the value of our cell that we just created. Now for the cell, we also need to add some text into the cells themselves. So we need to say cell dot text label dot text will be equal to our objects array for the index path dot section. So depending on the section that we are in, and then we're grabbing the section objects and placing that right into the section that we are creating right here. So dot section objects and then also that. And then after that, open square bracket, close square bracket, and this is going to be index path dot row. And this is going to pick one of these objects that are inside of our section array and put it according to the index path dot row for the section that we are in. So now let's continue on right down here and type in table view and we need to get the number of rows in section. So this will determine how many rows we need for every section that we have created. And right down here it's expecting a return value of an integer. So let's say return and this will be the return value of our objects array for the index path and they actually replaced it this time with section integer as you can see right up here. So we just need to type in section right inside of these square brackets and then say dot section objects dot count. So we are counting the objects that are in each of these sections and we are returning that value accordingly. Now let's continue on right down here and we need to determine the number of sections in our table view. So just start typing in number and it will come up automatically and just tab all of that in. And we want to return the value of our objects array dot count. And this just counts how many sections we have. And now we need to add the name for each of these sections. So as we created right up here, we have section one, two, and three, and we need to actually display this inside of our table view. So just type in table view, and this is going to be title for footer in section or title for header in section. I'm going to choose title for header in section, although you can go with a footer. Now it's expecting a return value of a string. So we need to go down here to our code and say return object array for this section dot object section name. So this section name is going to be applied for each of the sections that we have created. So let's build and run. And right now we're actually getting a black screen. So let's head back over to our main dot storyboard, click on our navigation controller and say is the initial view controller in our attributes inspector. Now let's build and run this again. And there you have it. We have all of our data displayed all as well as the section. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to hit that like button down below. And if you want to see more tutorials like this from me in the future, be sure to subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching again, and I will see you in the next one. Hey, be quiet for a minute.